Hello everyone, Brian from Sue Generous Brewing here. It is Saturday, April 8th, 2023, and it's day two of my 50 meter beer project. Today I'm planting barley. Yesterday in the video, I prepped the barley bed, uh, and I'm quite excited for the barley I'm growing this year. I've got two varieties that I'm trying. Uh, the first here is Harrington's. Uh, Harrington's is a Canadian barley uh, produced for malting at the University of Saskatchewan. And growing up as a, a young boy and as a teenager, a lot of my uncles grew this on their farm. So I spent a lot of my time in the summer managing these fields and helping out with uh, their barley crop. The other barley may be even cooler than that though. Uh, what I have next is bear barley. B-E-R-E, -E, not bear as in the animal. And bear barley is one of the oldest known sort of lineages of barley that we have. It dates back to the Viking era uh, in Scandinavia, perhaps older. And it's been maintained to this day because the Vikings brought it to the Orkney and Shetney Islands, where it's still grown today commercially for some Scotch whiskies and things like that. Uh, so I've got sort of equal amounts of both. I'm going to be planting both of those. And with a bit of luck, I'll have a, a crop of each. Now, in response to my last video, I had a few people sort of ask if it was possible to get enough barley uh, for a batch of beer. And I think so. Um, you know, according to the uh, company that sold me the seeds, the amount of seed I have here should yield between five and 10 kilos of barley, which is enough for one to two uh, 20 liter or five gallon batches of beer. Of course, if it's below that, I can either lower the batch size or maybe combine the two varieties into one beer. Or if push really comes to shove, I can continue to malt feed barley, which I have done in the past, uh, to supplement whatever it is that I do manage to grow. Anyways, with that, we'll get to planting. Planting barley is relatively easy. Uh, you want to space your rows around 15 centimeters apart, and you only need to go four to five centimeters deep at the most. Uh, for those of you in the States, that's roughly six inches apart on the rows and about two to two and a half inches deep, I think. When you plant the seeds themselves, you want them spaced out about 15 millimeters, which I think is three quarters of an inch, give or take. Uh, and then you just cover them back up and within a week or so, they should start poking up above the surface. One of the nice things about barley is it is a rapid growing crop that springs up early. So it tends to suppress a lot of weeds so long as you plant it dense enough. All right, so there we are, that is planted. The bear starts at this first post and goes up to the second. And then the Harrington, of course, starts on the other side of that second post and goes up towards the stump. And hopefully that will yield, again, five to 10 kilos worth of barley. Now it's not gonna be the first plant in the garden this year because we already have a bit of garlic on the way in. So it's probably gonna be a few weeks until the barley or the hops do something interesting. And so until then, goodbye.